So this past weekend, I entered a case tournament sponsored by my local gaming store. I got top four, won myself a box of Maximum Crisis. Will I get an Ash Blossom or a Dragonic Diagram? Let's find out together. What's going on guys, it's Simo. Now today I thought I'd bring to you a box opening of Maximum Crisis. Now I know it's not too common that I bring you guys product openings on my channel, but I figured since I made the top four of the case tournament at my local gaming store, and you know, I won the box, rather than just opening it and you know, just leaving all the suspense for myself, I figured it'd be a cool idea to share it with you guys, just because, you know, why the hell not? So, I know it's something you're not going to see too often, but I figure we might as well just break from the norm a little bit, and we're going to do something a little bit fun. With cards like Dragonic Diagram and Ash Blossom being worth so much, I think it would just definitely be a lot of fun just to see what we can pull. So, 24 packs, let's go ahead and get right into it. So, overall, I think Maximum Crisis is, it's an alright set. I mean, it's definitely meta-changing for sure, but um, it's gonna be really cool to see what we get out of here. So for our first rare, we got Performer Pal Sky Magician, and we get the Lyralusk Independent Nightingale. Um, True Drapo Apocalypse, a very good common there, so definitely worth noting. I'll probably just put the uh, rare card that I get right there on the side, and we're just gonna pretty much keep going at it. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely a meta-defining set with the true Dracos and all these other things going on, so it's going to be really interesting to see. We got the Perform Call. That's really weird that it's the fourth card. Subterra Fiendus, really good super rare there. Um, anything else in here? Artifact Vajra is a really good card. I'm actually glad we finally got this. It's, a, it's just a really cool card for the Artifact Engine in general, and it's a pretty cool Battle Trap, too. So, something that you might want to consider if you're, you know, wanting to toy with the Artifact Engine at all. But for the case tourney, I mean, pretty much all we had the, uh, in terms of Subterra Final Battle and our first Ultra Rare, unfortunately, it's Performa Pal Gatlingul. Really cool artwork, but just a really terrible card all around. Um, but surprisingly for the case tournament, uh, it was really interesting because pretty much since it was the first weekend Crisis was legal, the players had to pretty much get their cards from Sneak Peek, and if they didn't, it was going to be a rough time. Zephyr Providence and Metaltron 12... But yeah, it was going to be, a, it was a really rough time for anyone who really didn't have their opportunity to uh, get the new cards prior, uh, you know, at their sneak peek, because everyone at this tournament had either True Draco or the new Zoo stuff or uh, Go or Ash Blossom. Uh, ooh, True King of All Calamities. Very nice super rare there. And it, uh, God, that artwork is just amazing. I can't believe this card's a super. This card is amazing. Definitely going to want to put that over here. But yeah, oh, oh, it was just, there were so many uh, True Draco players and uh, True Kings and Zodiac. The top four ended up being two pure Zodiac, one of them was myself, and then two True King Zodiac. Just to kind of give you guys an idea. Princess Sprite, very good super rare as well. Uh, if you're playing Blue Eyes, this is definitely a card you're definitely going to want to consider. Might be a little bit too late for the archetype, but I mean, overall, that's this is an amazing card. The fact that you basically get to add a spell or trap to your hand for free, really solid card. Okay, so we haven't really gotten any uh, any of our <laughs> common Battle Baboon. That's funny. Uh, we haven't really gotten... Ooh, well, there's our first Secret Rare. It's not a Ghost Dash, and it's not a Dragonic Diagram, but it is a Duelist Alliance. I'm still hit or miss on this card. I feel like it just got released a little bit too late, but any card to me that can search Pendulum Sorcerer or Pendulum Call or Luster Pendulum, in my eyes, is, a, is, is still a fantastic card. So... Again, I feel like we just got the card a little bit too late comparison to like when it could have really shown, but if we would have gotten the card when it would have been really good, I think it would have just been like meta breaking on top of everything else. Waterfall of Dragon Souls, that's an okay card as well. So we're almost about halfway through the box here. I'm really curious what you guys think of the set overall. I mean, we definitely have, you know, we were, there's always going to be cards in here that are never, like, amazing. But, ooh, Chaka 9, okay. I'm not going to complain about getting another Chaka 9. I've already got all the ones I need, but, I mean, it's a good ultra overall. I think it's about maybe five or six bucks, so that's pretty good. So, we are already, um, I believe, two or three ultras in. 
At least now we know that our box has at least one secret rare, so I guess that's good. Fairy Tale Luna is a cool card too, because this actually allows you to search Fairy Tale Snow, which I find interesting. So I mean, I mean it's not the best card. I mean maybe if you're trying to make some dedicated like Fairy Tale deck, but. Um, the fact that it can search snow to me is really good, and I guess it can also search the charmers, which is really random as well for the random charmer players out there, but I mean, hey, there you go. <laughs> Pendulum Mucho. I mean, this is probably the best card in the set. No, I'm just kidding, but the artwork on this card is fucking amazing. I absolutely love it. Got a Hammer Kong in here as well. Pretty good common. So this is going to be the last for the right side of the box. What are we going to get in our last one on here? Let's see. Bujin, Hiruko, and we got another one of the fusions. This is a really solid card as well. I'm actually really shocked that that card is only a rare because the things that you can do with that card in certain circumstances is uh, it's pretty powerful. It can do a lot. And if it was released back again, there's so many cards in the set. I feel if they were out maybe a year or two ago, they would have been so much more viable. But I guess that's kind of I guess that's kind of the point of power creep and why that exists. Except for Providence, another Waterfall of Dragon Souls. Interesting. Okay. We got a Zephrath, which is one of the weirdest name changes ever. But on the other hand, it's really badass looking artwork. I, again, I kind of, <laughs> I kind of feel like it's another card that's a little bit too late, but Zephra is still an archetype, especially on the lower end in terms of like relatively budget. It's kind of a really cool deck. It's very explosive, especially like some of those Infernity variants as well. But again, I think it's just another thing that's way too far past this time. True King's Return is a really good ultra rare. Not going to complain about that. It's not a heritage, but quite frankly, it's one of the True King uh, Ultras, and it's a really powerful one at that. I mean, any card... Ooh, we had a set rotation in there. Completely missed that. But yeah, any... <laughs> any trap card that's basically a dedicated escalation of the Monarchs for your archetype, and allows you to have a continuous call of the Haunted that doesn't go away, and that allows you to pop a card when it's destroyed. I mean, that's just a powerful card. Predaplant Orphis Scorpio, really, really good card there. And we got the Phantom Knights of Cursed Javelin, which is really unfortunate, but it's all good. We got the we got the Scorpio, which is the best card in the set anyway, so that doesn't matter. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe Scorpio is a rare. That's just absolutely insane. That card is like the new Terra Top engine, except Terra Top is still slightly better. But if anything ever happens to Terra Top, that's definitely the way to go. Performer Pal Sky Pupil. Another Princess Sprite. Getting a lot of duplicate supers here. It's rather interesting. Okay. Only about six packs left to go here. Still missing our second secret. And who knows, we could even get a third or a fourth because some of these boxes have been wonky. Supreme King Gate Infinity, not the best card, but I mean, it is a DDD card. So I don't know. I, I really, I've seen people in the OCG like make like crazy decks with that card. So who knows, maybe one day, but definitely not in this format. Magician's Rest, it's Dragonic Diagram, woohoo! All righty, that's what we want to see. Oh my god, that's the pull we want. Oh my god, this card is just so good. The, the fact that this card at the time of making this video is $90, if not more, oh man. That, that just made getting top four in that case tournament worth it because that's just incredible. This is better than Ash Blossom. <laughs> Oh my god. Beautiful. Beautiful. I actually, I'm gonna grab a sleeve real quick. I, I, I do not want to keep that card out in the open. Okay, just one second here. Good thing I have sleeves always on hand. That's just, oh my god, that's just gorgeous. We're definitely gonna keep that there. Now, we still got five more packs, and some people have been getting three secrets in their box, so, you know, maybe there's still the chance that we can pull something absolutely crazy. Who knows? Um, Spiral Sleeper is not the crazy card we wanna pull, though. <laughs> definitely not the card we wanna pull. Honestly, I got the Dragonic Diagram. I couldn't be happier with this box. That That's just, that's amazing. Oh, man. A couple packs left. Dynamite Knight, the true Draco fighter. So, I mean, we got another really solid Ultra here. Another Vajra back there as well. Man, this, I mean, this box is pretty good. Can't really complain. This is another, I'd say, like, 6 to $7 Ultra. 
very strong card in the true Draco deck. I mean, these cards are absurd. I cannot believe like the effects that they have that you basically get to activate cards from your deck. Like that's just ridiculous. Okay, couple packs left. Uh, Coin Dragon and another Pendulum Mucho. All right, another set rotation. I'm glad to actually be getting a play set of that. Oh, forgot to put that here. Set rotation is a really good card. There's so many really cool, like intricate things you can do with it. You could like give your opponent like a Fire King Island and like wipe their board. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> okay, second to last pack. Dark Contract with Eternal Darkness. And another one of those... Lyralusk? I probably completely butchered the name of those cards, but I did have a friend locally that was wanting to get those, so he'll be happy if he needs any more of them, but I think he got them. All right, everyone, last pack. Are we going to manage to pull some third crazy secret or maybe even another ultra? Let's go ahead and find out. Performa Pal, you go golem. Oh my god, that's just, that's just... <laughs> that's just such a bad name. Ah, oh, it's Supreme King Gate Zero. Well, I mean, overall... I'm not really going to complain because <laughs> this is pretty much, I mean, this just sums it up right here. We got the diagram and just quickly recapping everything else. I mean, we, we did pretty good. We got a Dynamite Knight, which is a really good ultra. We got a couple Princess Sprites. Uh, we got a True King's Return, which is another valuable ultra. Um, I accidentally put the Hiroko in there, but that's okay. Uh, Chalkanine's another valuable ultra. So we did pretty good on our ultra front. We unfortunately got Duelist Alliance, but I mean... I'm not going to complain. <laughs> got to call Calamities. That's a good card as well. We got the Gatling Ghoul, but overall, guys, I'm not really going to complain. I would say this is a spectacular box. It wasn't like the craziest box you guys have ever seen, but let me know down in the comments what your guys' favorite cards are out of Maximum Crisis and how you guys think the set's been rounding out as a whole. So, guys, thanks so much for watching the video, and we'll see you next time.